Story time. Welcome to another video. This is going to be another lighthearted one, kind of similar to the other one we did. Um, <laughs> DVD is a very, very like frustrating and annoying and very um, hard game to make content about because people are just perpetually negative and weird and like to just argue back and forth for like no reason. Like uh, they're very much the, oh, I like pancakes. Oh, you hate waffles, huh? Kind of uh, community. Um, so making some lighthearted videos here and there is always very, very nice. Um, <laughs> but this is more of a, like I said, a story time as we open up with. Uh, I actually went to visit uh, my family recently this week. Um, and it was a fun time seeing the fam. If you guys don't know, if you don't go over to the Twitch side of twitch.tv slash the Mr. Headache, which you absolutely should. I stream every day except Thursday and Sunday. Um, my brother, my real life brother, is one of my moderators. Uh, so uh, most of our interactions these days are through that, which is kind of weird. <laughs> so it's nice to, that I got to see him. But uh, one of the funny things that happened uh, was we were talking with my dad about, um, like, obviously the things that we do. Uh, the things that uh, we do, and uh, they brought up <laughs> Dead by Daylight, and my father, for reference, he is not a gamer-minded individual. Uh, he is over 50 years old, and he does not play online video games. Uh, he struggles to figure out how Discord works, uh, and that's not too bash him. That's just, you know, he's that's the kind of guy he is. He didn't grow up playing video games. Like, he... It was definitely a thing that he gave to us and let us enjoy, but it was not something he was personally interested in, in himself at all. Um, <laughs> but we were sitting down, we were having a conversation about like what we do, and he was like, "Man, that community that you're in, that like the Dead by Daylight community, what is what is wrong with those guys? They are some of the most entitled and toxic and awful people I have ever seen." <laughs> this is my. This is my. I'm like, I don't want to say elderly, but my elderly father, who has like, n like barely any online presence, like besides like watching news online, besides like watching news online, he does not, he does not go anywhere and talk to people in the online sphere. He's very much like old school. Like I'd rather, you know, go meet up in real life or let's go have like a sit down and a hangout somewhere. Like he doesn't, he doesn't occupy a lot of online spaces, no social media really to speak of. Like that is the kind of human being we're talking about. And somehow... He, it got back to him that somehow the Dead by Daylight community is very toxic and very awful and very bad to be in. And I, how does someone, how bad do we have to be that someone who has like literally no online presence, no online presence, Will, no online presence, how does somebody like that get wind that the community is super toxic and bad? <laughs> you know, I, I've been saying for a while on this channel, on my Twitch, that like, especially when compared to other communities like Dota, like FPS shooters, like COD, that we have a fairly tame community. Trust me, uh, <laughs> I played Rainbow Six Siege for a long time. Um, and that game, it's like almost every game, somebody's dropping a slur or something. That that community is wild, absolutely wild. Um, so I always say that like those communities are the ones that have the, like the worst, toxicity when it comes to uh any gaming community but am i just like in a copium truck right now am i just huffing the copium are we actually like i feel like my the way i've always digested this was that okay well like other communities are worse but like we're more like we're more toxic in a way that's like really stupid <laughs> and i don't mean that to be like intentionally insulting like we're 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 dumb right like we we hate the game and we're toxic in a way that's like i can't believe the killer played the video game what do you mean the survivors played to win clearly that means that they're unloved and their family hates them because they ran gen perks <laughs> they ran exhaustion perks so that must mean they're terrible and i deserve to yell at them and tell them they're bad in the end game chat like it's very much a, a very house ruley community uh, and if you break the house rules that you were not aware of going into the game, uh, you are worthy of any sort of nasty end game chat, um, which is it's just very silly and very dumb. But I think what I'm coming to realize through that is that perhaps that's worse, <laughs> right? Because like it's a lot dumber. It's it, like there's like how do I describe this? There's no self awareness. There's like zero self awareness among the community whatsoever. There is no like even like a, a small attempt to understand why somebody may be doing something, why they're doing things the way they're doing them. It's just, oh, well, clearly they're bad. So they're toxic and I hate them. Stupid tunneler, stupid camper, <laughs> like just like zero thought. Absolutely zero thought. And I, I think 
I think if we were getting to the point where somebody who has no, not, not even an online interest, not even in the online sphere, much less the online gaming sphere, is like, man, I have seen and heard how terrible your community is. <laughs> like, I think we're in trouble. I think we've been in trouble for a long time. But I think we're in trouble. <laughs> I, I just, yeah, like I said, maybe it's just bad. Maybe it's, maybe it's worse than I thought because it, like, I thought the fact that it was dumb and silly made it better. You know, like, okay, well, like, at least I'm not getting called slurs all the time. Uh, I, I mean, I, I got called one the other day. Thankfully, Steam took action on that account. Steam took action on that account, but yeah. Uh, it's not nearly as much as, like, Siege, where it's happening, like, all the time. Um, but I always thought it was better because it was silly and dumb stuff. <laughs> Just really immature entitled stuff. But maybe, like, through sheer volume, through sheer volume of the fact that it's happening so often so many games despite it not being that like intensive a gripe overall i mean that is worse <laughs> because if it's reaching just the general public you know we've we've kind of hit a wall huh we kind of have a a big issue yeah i don't know oh, that was just funny not really a long video today but it was just kind of like <laughs> it's just an experience that i was like man how does this 50 year old guy who doesn't even like go on the internet know that the dead by daylight community is toxic how did this happen <laughs> how are we here that people outside the gaming sphere or the online sphere in general are learning about how bad and whiny and terrible our community is jeez oh pete's man <laughs> we have really we've really hit rock bottom huh yeah i don't know i just thought it was a funny story to share uh a little bit of a lighthearted one today but yeah i do upload daily so we'll see you tomorrow hopefully you enjoyed this little whole story slash rant but uh i will see you guys tomorrow in tomorrow's video but if i do not i will see you when i see you Goodbye. bye